So in the late 1800s, uh, rail travel was becoming a huge, huge business in the United States. And uh, the result was in something called the Railroad Wars in the West. What the Railroad Wars were, were most of it was in court, some of it got violent, whereas, where these different railroad companies were competing for access to rail lines to get to the western areas of the United States. Well, one of those competitions took place right here at Royal Gorge between the Topeka Atchison Santa Fe rail line and the Denver Rio Grande rail line. And uh, pretty interesting story. We were at Dodge City just a few days ago and uh, the Topeka Atchison Santa Fe rail line ended up hiring Bat Masterson to assemble a team of about 70 people to come out and protect the access to this area to ensure that they got it. Uh, he ended up bringing on his team Doc Holliday and uh, Dirty Dave Rudabaugh and just a whole kind of uh, colorful cast of characters. Um, so anyway, kind of uh, a neat little tie in there. So we're gonna go and we're going to take a look at Royal Gorge. All right, taking a first look over the gorge. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. And I can see the rail line way down there. Oh dear heavens. I thought it was smaller for some reason, so that's okay. We can handle this. <laughs> Okay, so this is something called the cliff walk. Oh, this this feels uncomfortable. <laughs> there are boards moving beneath my feet right now. And holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Nope. Bush could gin No, I'm kinda having a little Bush moment right now. The could you imagine the first poor sucker that rode up on this thing and his horse? He probably thought, well, shoot. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to go out over the bridge. A lot of history behind this place. It says that uh, Zebulon Pike and his men were the first to travel through this area in 1806, as far as American explorers go. Uh, and then the Fremont Expedition was here. Uh, the Struggle with the rail lines, as I already mentioned, took place here. Um, and then this suspension bridge, which was the highest in the world at that point, going over the Arkansas River, was built in 1929. So we're getting ready to trek across this beast. All right, so here we go, taking our first steps out onto this bridge. I do have to say, it is quite the view. All right, here's a view of the Arkansas River down below, along with the rail line running right along the edge of it, right through there. And that's what those two rail companies were fighting over. Okay, so here's another thing about the bridge. It's kind of, uh, it can be unnerving. So you have your boards through here, and then you have these gaps where you can see everything down below. I wonder how many phones have been dropped through that crack right there. Okay, so here's what I've decided, is that this bridge is perfect for somebody with no imagination. Unfortunately, I have a very vivid imagination, like imagining what would happen if this dang truck that's making the bridge shake caused one of these boards to break. Oh, I really hope something horrible happens to that guy. Oh, he just made all of these boards roll right below us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Those are people. 
actual people. Oh, those poor souls. Oh, I feel like I'm documenting somebody's death. Gee. So here's a quick thing on the Royal Gorge War that I was referring to that uh, involved Bat Masterson and Doc Holliday. Uh, apparently there are some rock forts that are still visible that they built to uh, protect the rail workers. Ken Fuller, I'm going to go ahead and say that there's something wrong with you. Oh my gosh. What? in the heck oh my gosh no 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 oh those poor people Blah. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting what is the difference between a gorge and a canyon well a gorge is usually narrower at the bottom than a canyon and a canyon is as wide at the bottom as it is at the top pretty interesting Look at this. All of these little wires bound together to hold this big son of a gun up. Pretty amazing. Okay, so we're getting ready to go back across the gorge in this thing that they are calling a gondola but I'm saying is a cable coffin oh my gosh oh there they go good heavens oh no we can be in this one. All right, here we go. Biggest thing I saw somebody walking by and saying that it's the highest. Oh, I don't like how like this like thing like sways. Oh, I don't either. Yeah. I can do uh, this, but not oh, the zipper. Oh, wow, wonderful. Look. No, oh, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> this guy is this the biggest great, jerk right? in the United States <laughs> right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we don't even have a bad view yet. Over here is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cool. I don't really want to die today. And, and here we go. Dear heavens. We walked across that. What am I scared about? Now I'm floating above it. Alright, so there's a good view of the railroad down there. From straight above. Okay, so gondola ride wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm glad we did it. Pretty cool view. Okay, so that was Royal Gorge. A lot of cool history here. Um, not to mention just the incredible uh, scenery and uh, just everything that, that you get to see here. Um, so, one last look. No, no, never. no, that's not incredible. That's dumb. Tying a rubber band to your ankle and then jumping off into here. That's not incredible. That's dumb. <laughs>